Are you a car enthusiast who marvels at the power and performance of high-performance cars? If so, then you've likely heard of the V8 engine, the powerhouse of many high-performance vehicles. These engineering marvels have been around for over a century, and their design and production have become increasingly sophisticated over the years. In this video, we'll take you behind the scenes to explore how V8 engines are made in factories. From the design phase to the testing phase, we'll show you the complex and precise process that goes into producing these powerhouses of the automotive industry. So buckle up and get ready to learn all about how it's made V8 engines in factories. Before any physical production takes place, the first phase of creating a V8 engine is the design and planning phase. This phase involves a team of designers, engineers, and technicians who work on computer-aided design, CAD software, to create and refine the design of the engine. During this phase, the team creates a 3D model of the engine that allows them to see how each component fits together and how the engine will perform in various conditions. They test the design for strength, durability, and performance using computer simulations, which helps them to optimize the design to meet specific requirements. The team also considers factors such as size, weight, and materials to ensure that the engine will meet the necessary specifications. The design must be precise and accurate, since even small variations in the engine's components can significantly impact its performance. Once the design is finalized, the team moves on to the planning phase. This involves creating a detailed plan for the production process, including timelines, equipment, and labor requirements. The team also identifies any potential issues that may arise during production and creates contingency plans to address them. After the design and planning phase, the V8 engine enters the production phase. This phase involves a series of complex and intricate processes that require skilled workers, advanced machinery, and strict quality control measures. The first step in the production phase is the creation of the engine block. The engine block is the foundation of the engine, and it must be precise and durable to withstand the stresses of high-performance applications. The engine block is typically made of cast iron or aluminum, and is created using a process called sand casting. Sand casting involves creating a mold of the engine block in sand and pouring molten metal into the mold. Once the engine block is created, the next step is to machine the various components of the engine. This involves using specialized machines to cut, shape, and drill each part to the precise specifications of the design. This includes components such as the crankshaft, pistons, connecting rods, and cylinder heads. The machining process requires skilled workers and advanced machinery, such as CNC machines, which use computer programming to perform precise cuts and measurements. After the machining process is complete, the engine components undergo a series of quality control checks to ensure that they meet the necessary specifications. These checks include dimensional measurements, material testing, and visual inspections. Any components that do not meet the specifications are discarded, and the machining process is repeated. The next step in the production phase is the assembly of the engine. This involves bringing together all the components of the engine, including the engine block, crankshaft, pistons, connecting rods, and cylinder heads, to create a fully functional engine. The assembly process requires skilled workers who use specialized tools and equipment to fit each component together precisely. The assembly process also includes the installation of the camshaft, which controls the opening and closing of the engine's valves. Once the engine is fully assembled, it undergoes a series of tests to ensure that it is working correctly. These tests include a compression test, which measures the pressure in the engine's cylinders, and a leak down test, which checks for any leaks in the engine's components. The engine is also tested on a dynamometer, which simulates various driving conditions to ensure that the engine performs correctly under different loads and speeds. The final step in the production phase is the finishing process. This involves painting the engine and adding any necessary components, such as belts, hoses, and sensors. The engine is then packaged and shipped to car manufacturers, where it will be installed in high-performance vehicles. Throughout the production phase, strict quality control measures are in place to ensure that the engine meets the necessary specifications. These measures include inspections and tests at each stage of the production process, 
as well as final inspections before the engine is shipped to car manufacturers. Overall, the production phase of creating a V8 engine is a complex and precise process that requires skilled workers and advanced machinery. The precision and accuracy of each component are critical to the engine's performance and durability. Any errors or oversights in the production process can have significant consequences on the engine's final performance and reliability. The production of V8 engines requires a high level of expertise and attention to detail, making it a fascinating process to observe. From the casting of the engine block to the assembly of the components, every step is carefully planned and executed to ensure that the engine meets the necessary specifications. The production phase of creating a V8 engine is truly a remarkable feat of engineering and manufacturing expertise. After the V8 engine is produced, it undergoes a series of rigorous tests to ensure that it meets the necessary specifications and is ready for use in high-performance vehicles. The testing phase is critical in identifying any potential issues or defects in the engine before it is installed in a car. The first test that the engine undergoes is a compression test. This test measures the pressure in the engine cylinders and ensures that the engine is generating the necessary power. The engine is also tested for leaks using a leak down test, which checks for any air leaks in the engine's components. The engine is then tested on a dynamometer, which simulates various driving conditions and loads. The dynamometer test allows engineers to evaluate the engine's performance under different speeds and loads and identify any issues with the engine's performance. Additional tests may also be performed depending on the specific requirements of the engine. These tests may include emission testing to ensure that the engine meets the necessary environmental regulations. Overall, the testing phase is crucial in ensuring that the engine is safe, reliable, and meets the necessary performance standards. Any issues or defects identified during the testing phase can be addressed before the engine is installed in a car, minimizing the risk of costly and dangerous issues down the road. The testing phase also allows manufacturers to gather valuable data on the engine's performance and identify areas for improvement. This data can be used to improve future engine designs and manufacturing processes, ensuring that V8 engines continue to push the boundaries of high-performance automotive engineering. The automotive industry is undergoing significant changes as environmental concerns and the push towards electric and hybrid vehicles continue to grow. As a result, the future of V8 engines is uncertain. However, it is unlikely that V8 engines will disappear entirely as they continue to play an essential role in high performance and niche applications. Manufacturers are working on improving V8 engine efficiency and reducing emissions to meet environmental regulations while still maintaining their high performance capabilities. This includes the use of hybrid technology, which combines the power of the V8 engine with electric motors to improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions. In high performance applications, the demand for V8 engines may continue to grow as enthusiasts and collectors value their power and unique sound. As a result, V8 engines may continue to be produced in limited quantities, specifically for high performance and niche applications. The production of V8 engines is a complex and precise process that involves skilled workers, advanced machinery, and strict quality control measures. From the design phase to the testing phase, each step is carefully planned and executed to ensure that the engine meets the necessary specifications and performs to the highest standards. As the automotive industry continues to evolve, the future of V8 engines remains uncertain. However, it is clear that their power and performance will continue to be valued in high performance and niche applications. Manufacturers will continue to improve their efficiency and reduce their emissions while still maintaining their unique sound and power. The production of V8 engines is a remarkable feat of engineering and manufacturing expertise, and it is a testament to the passion and dedication of the individuals who design and produce them. We hope this video has given you an insight into how it's made V8 engines in factories. Thank you for watching, and we invite you to share your thoughts on the future of V8 engines in the comments section below.